Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Dragoonity combo tutorial. This time it is going to be a Dragoonity combo without Agrapane, because I've been getting request after request. Apparently nobody actually knows how to play this deck or how to mess around with card combos and stuff like that, because nobody else has figured out anything remotely decent with this deck. Uh, the people that have asked me if their combos are good or not are people that are doing four and five card combos to make like double crystal wing spheres <laughs> and stuff like that. Whereas you could do three card combos to end on the exact same boards we were ending on last format. A spheres that could tribute itself to summon a Goliath, a Titanic Galaxy, a Borlo Savage, a Crystal Wing, and a Floating Red Med. This is a three card combo and there's multiple different ways to do it without aggro pain. So that is what I'm going to be showing you today. I've figured these out like two days after the ban list dropped, but like I just didn't feel like making a video for it because felt like the world was a better place without more people trying to play this deck because Dragoonies honestly sucks. It's not a deck that I even enjoy playing. I enjoy solitaring with it, which is why I found out these combos, but I don't enjoy playing it and I don't enjoy promoting people to play it either, uh, honestly, because deck's not that good. I feel like you'd have a better time with something else. Like, this isn't even a fun deck to play casually, in my opinion. But anyway, what I'm going to show you is two different combo iterations that end on the exact same board. One requires all 15 cards in your extra deck to perform, but is a bit more streamlined in terms of what it requires out of your main deck. It requires two less bricks to be played in your main deck, so it makes your main deck more consistent. And then I'll be showing you the way you do this combo in a second iteration, which has those two main deck bricks in your main deck, but you use three less extra deck cards, so you have more variety and more abilities to play out different combo iterations. So I believe the second combo might be the superior version. Well, I know it's a superior version, but it makes it more flawed in terms of a deck building <laughs> like exercise. But I'm going to show you both combos. I'm going to try and do it as fast as I can, but ultimately I tend to ramble on, so you'll just have to deal with that. But if you are interested, link is in the description to my Twitch page where I stream at least three times a week. I play different decks, do all sorts of stuff, talk theory, all that sort of stuff. If you're interested, go follow that. Be notified next time the stream goes live. Or if you're interested in my Discord server where I talk with people and other people who just chat Yu-Gi-Oh! and general shit and nonsense, then there's a link in the description to that as well. And if you like what you see here, then leave a comment, drop a like, maybe subscribe if you're new here. Who knows? But what I'm going to show you is some painless... Dragoonity combos starting right now. Alright, so for both iterations of the combo that I'm about to show you, the starting card combination is the same. It is a three card combo requiring Synodus plus any Dragoonity tuner. It doesn't matter which name you start with because you will be accessing the correct names in the correct quantities as the combo goes on, regardless of which one you start with. And it requires a Dragon Extender. This could be Destrudo, like it is here. It could be Dark Worm that gets sent off Dragon Shrine, or sent or discarded off Ravine. It could be Quick Launch for a Rocket. There's literally a plethora of things that it could be. It just needs to be a Dragon of any level that can be linked away with. Now, this hand is, you know, looking somewhat, you know, standardized, but keep in mind that you could be using Ravine, with Destrudo or Dark Worm, with Sinidus or Tuner to like add the other pieces. So like there's ways that you can make this combo like a lot more freeform because this combo does have a lot of moving parts. And that is what I like about this combo without Agrapane is that it is very freeform because of the fact that we're going to be abusing Gaederg during this combo sequence, which we weren't able to do before. But anyway, so the way this combo is performed is you are going to normal summon your Senatus and you are going to discard whatever tuner you had. In this case, we have Phalanx. And because we had Phalanx, we're going to equip Koos from our deck. Now, Koos is going to get special summoned, and we are going to synchro these two cards into the best card in our extra deck, Dragoonity Knight Gaederg. When this card is synchro summoned properly and you're able to abuse it with Red Med, these combos get very insane. This is easily the best Dragoonity synchro in the game uh, because like, it just allows you to do so much. It allows you to access so many cards from your deck. It allows you to combo so hard, which is what we're going to be doing here. We couldn't do this with Agrapane because this card wasn't being properly synchro summoned, and the card combinations and the combos we were doing with the Agrapane combos were fairly cookie cutter. This is a lot more freeform, like I said. But so, you're going to use the Gaederg's effect to add... Blackwing Steam the Cloak from your deck to your hand, and then discard it. So we're going to start this combo off with like, sort of like an old-school Link Dragoonity combo. I say old-school, but like when Hieratic Link was announced, before we transition into Guard Dragon combo. But so you add Steam and discard Steam, and then whatever Dragon Extender you have needs to be on the board at this point. Whether it was Dark Worm, if you're quick launching for a rocket, if you're using Destrudo, whatever. It just needs to end up on the board, right? doesn't matter what it is or where it is, it just needs to end up on the field. But you're going to link those two away into our Hieratic Seal of Celestial Spheres. And then from here, because we have the Steam in the Grave, we are going to tribute the Hieratic and special summon the Steam the Cloak. 
the Heretic will trigger, and we're going to be able to get the Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon from our deck, putting it to 0-0. Zero, zero. Now from here, we're going to get to use Red Med for something incredibly broken, which is a feeling that I forgot that I missed when we were doing the Aggro Pain stuff, and that is Red Med for Gator. <laughs> like, this is insane. Like, summoning this card, like, four times a turn is wild. But so... Uh, Gaydurg here is going to add Blackwing Zephyros the Elite from our deck to our hand and then discard it to our grave. Noteworthy is if you have any of these cards in your hand at the start of the combo, like if you opened Zephyros or you opened Steam, uh, then that just means you get to search a free extender like Garuda or whatever uh, and then discard the card you had in your hand. So like it literally doesn't matter if you draw the cards or not. And if they're already in your graveyard, then you get to do different things with Gaydurg. This combo is very freeform, but I'm just showing you the cookie cutter instance of what you can do with it. Well, the sort of cookie cutter instance, because there's two versions of it, of course. But, so, you're going to bounce the red med to your hand and summon the Zephyros from your grave. The zone placement of, what I'm, of where I'm putting things is becoming super important. The closer you get to making the Guard Dragon play happen, the more important your zone placement becomes. But so, you bounce red med for Zephyros, then you're going to link away the Gaedurg and the Steam the Cloak into Dragoonity Knight Romulus. Now, Romulus will trigger to add your Divine Lance from deck to hand and the Steam the Cloak will trigger to give us a token. So we get a Steam token, so we just have a free monster on board because it left the field, and then we get the Divine Lance off of the Romulus. So we're going to activate the Divine Lance on Romulus and use the Divine Lance to equip from our deck. We're going to equip Coos from deck, and we are going to Special Summon it. Now Coos is going to be treated as a level 4 here because we have the Zephyros left on the board, so we're going to Synchro into our Barca. So we're going to summon Soul Charge from our extra deck, because that's effectively what this is. And so we're going to use Barca's effect on summon to equip the two Kooses and the one Phalanx from our graveyard to it. Like I said, you get to the you get to the ideal number of Dragoonity Tuner names, regardless of which one you started with. You're going to end up with two Kooses and at least one Phalanx during the entirety of this combo. But so from here, you're going to special summon all of these Tuners to the board. And then we're going to start going into our Guard Dragon play. But first we have to lay the groundwork for that play to be possible. So we're going to link away with the Romulus, a Phalanx, and our uh, Steam Token. We're going to link away those into a 3-material Saryuja Skulldred over in the left EMZ. Now what's noteworthy is if you, if you want to, you can link away the Barca to make this a 4-material Saryuja. Draw 4, put 3 back. But you have to special summon a monster from your hand if you do that, so you're not gaining any card advantage. You're just seeing more cards. But we are going to be resolving another Saryuja later in this combo sequence. That one will be a Saryuja for four because it has to be a Saryuja for four, which is why this one has to be a three. You can't reverse the order. You can't make Saryuja for four here and then make Saryuja for three later because of the board state that we're going to be in. So... If you want to, because this deck is like 80% monsters and or cards that get to monsters, you could make this Saryuja by linking away with Barca here, because you need these two cards. You could link away with Barca, um, and you could uh, you could make this Saryuja draw four, but then whatever cards you kept have to be a card that special summons a monster, uh, because you'll have to be able to special summon a monster from your hand to be the fourth material for the second Saryuja. Uh, so... I'm not doing it in this combo because it's self-contained, but if I was doing this at, like, a tournament or in a game or whatever, I would more than likely commit this into the Saryuja just to see more cards, even though I'm not gaining advantage. But anyway, so, Saryuja summoned. It's a 3-material Saryuja. We're going to link away one of our Kusas into our Guard Dragon LP, and Guard Dragon LP is going to be right here. Now, Guard Dragon LP is going to use its effect because they have both have a zone pointing over here. And we're going to summon Tempest, the Dragon Ruler Storms, from our deck. So this combo requires you to have Tempest in your deck at the outset, uh, which is another constricting factor on top of the fact that it uses all 15 of your extra deck cards. So the second combo I'm going to show you might be superior strictly from that point because it means you can't use uh, like Gold Sark on Tempest or whatever, but I digress. So you're going to banish the Tempest that you summoned off LP for Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, and the Tempest effect is going to trigger searching for Dragoonity Phalanx from our deck is what we're going to search here. But now Red Med gets to do what it can do again, and that is revive Dragoonity Knight Gaedurg. And then Gaedurg here is going to add Garuda the Wind Spirit from our deck to our hand, and then we are going to discard our freshly searched Phalanx. This is in the grave. And now from here is where we make the other Saryuja, and that's why it was important that we have the ability to make a 4-material Saryuja, because there's no Link 2s on our board, so we can't make a 3-material Saryuja. So we link away Saryuja, we link away Elpi, we link away Red Med, and we link away the Barca into a 4-material Saryuja Skull Dread. So, 
four material star Yuja. You get to draw a card. You get to draw four and put three back, so you're at a plus one because you gain a card in your hand. And the entire point of us doing that in that method was so that we could get access to Garuda and then also be able to summon it because we couldn't summon it with the LP on the board because we were locked to dragons. But now that we are not locked to dragons, we can special summon the Garuda the Wind Spirit by banishing the Sinidus. And now we have a Coos that we left on the board smartly and a level 4 Winged Beast. So we are going to synchro the Coos, treating it as a 4 with Garuda to summon Soul Charge number 2. Dragoonie Knight Barca number dos. Now this one is going to equip four because we have the extra phalanx engrave that we added off of the tempest. So equip four and then from here we're going to start building our final board. Now the placement here is really funny. You might get a kick out of this. You're going to special phalanx first and you're going to synchro with the gate egg here and you're going to synchro with the gate egg into Borlode Savage Dragon or Crystal Wing. Doesn't matter which one you do here. Uh, but the Savage Dragon does get to equip the Saryuja so it, like, it doesn't matter if you make it here or not. Um, and then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to special summon the other three tuners, and we are going to make this coos into our guard dragon pisty, pointing this way, and then we are going to link these two, uh, the flanks and the coos that are left over, into twin triangle dragon here. Now twin triangle dragon, when it's summoned, is going to pay 500 life, and we're going to summon back that barca that we committed into the Saryuja skull dread. So we summon the Barka back, and we're doing this for like zone reasons as well as for uh, for like just being able to get the most out of the combo sequence, you know. But so because we summon this back, we are going to overlay these two into Titanic Galaxy. So we have Titanic Galaxy and Borload Savage established, and then from here we have this Pisty that's unused, but it's not pointing to any zone. There's no two zones on the board. But so now we're going to switch EMZs, we're going to link the Link 2 Twin Triangle Dragon and the Saryuja Skull Dread, we're going to treat it as a Link 1, as one Link material, and we're going to summon Triple Burst Dragon, pointing down. So now Pisty is going to be able to summon back Red Med, so this is, um, how many times have we summoned Red Med this turn, like four? <laughs> it's, it, it's been a bit. But so Pisty summons Red Med back, and then we're going to link the Twin, uh, the Triple Burst Dragon and the Pisty into our second extra deck copy of Hieratic Seal Celestial Spheres. We use the first one as a combo piece, and we use the second one as part of our ending board. Now this is the 14th extra deck card. Now we're going to use Red Med to, again, revive our Gaederg. We're just abusing this guy to death. And then we're using Gaederg's effects here to add Mist Valley Baby Rock from our deck to our hand and discard it. Because Baby Rock was discarded, it can be special summoned. It is a level 2 tuner. We are going to synchro the Gaederg and the Baby Rock into our last extra deck card, which is the Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. So, from here, you end up with the Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, and you have these cards over here in zones that are no longer linked zones, but we needed to make them over here first. And then you have this this really nice board. You've got a Spheres Bounce, you've got Crystal Wing, you've got an Omni Negate, a Spell Negate, Monster Negate. This can, uh, can bounce a card, can summon Goliath from your deck, or you could be playing Aether. Uh, to be an extra form of uh, removal. Uh, this is just really cool. Uh, it's really cool what you can do when you start abusing like Gaederg because Gaederg allows you to get access to a lot of extra card names and a lot of extra cards. Now, like I said, this one is the version of the combo that requires 15 extra deck cards. So, what that means is that means that you are going to be out of an extra deck the for the entirety of the rest of your game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Now, you hit have an extra card drawn in your hand off the Saryuja, of course. Um, and then you have the ability for the Spheres to summon the Goliath. So, like, there's a potential that this is just game by itself, right? Uh, but ultimately, you probably don't want to be doing this over the long stretch. It's really cool that it's performable, and it's really cool for placement. And this combo does allow you to have more main deck optimization because it doesn't require as many main decked bricks to be played to perform this one but if you use the other combo i'm about to show you then you did the exact same ending board the exact same ending board with uh with three less cards in your extra deck used but it uses two more cards in your main deck so it adds two bricks to your main deck and but you get to you know use three extra cards in your extra deck you get to take out three cards and replace those for other cards to make other combo iterations possible 
because the extra deck is really tight if you're building the deck around this combo. But just wanted to show you because this combo does allow for a little bit more main deck optimization, meaning the main deck itself will be a bit more consistent overall. But this is probably the inferior version of the combo. But let me clean this up and I'll show you the better version right now. All right, second verse, almost same as the first. It's the same three card combo that I'm going to show you. That was at the first one, but there's going to be some differences. I'm going to be showing you this as fast as I can, so I'll discuss the differences when I get there. But Senatus, any tuner, Distrudo in this instance, it doesn't matter. It has to be a Dragon Extender. Normal Summon Senatus, discard the Flanks in this case. That's going to equip the Coos from our deck, and then the Coos gets Special Summoned, and then we're going to synchro these two into our best boy, Dragoonie Knight, Gaederg. Now, Gaederg here is going to add our Blackwing Steam the Cloak from deck to hand, and then it's going to get discarded, and then whatever Dragon Extender you needed to have to make this combo work has to be on the board by this point. It's like, Destruder could be summoned here. Doesn't matter. So, link these two away into our Hieratic Seal of Heavenly Spheres, tribute it to activate the Steam the Cloak's effect in Grave, summoning the Steam the Cloak, and then the Hieratic will trigger, summoning Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon from our deck. Darkness Metal will summon back the Gaederg, then Gaederg will add and discard our Blackwing Zephyros the Elite, which will then bounce our Red Med to Special Summon itself, and then we take 400 life, and then we link these two away into our Dragoon Knight Romulus. Our Steam the Cloak will give us our token, and our Romulus will search our Divine Lance. Now Divine Lance equipped to Romulus again. Again, we are going to equip Coos from our deck to it, and we're going to Special Summon the Coos, and then we are going to Synchro these two into... Soul Charge, Dragoon Knight Barca, and then that is going to equip the exact same tuners we did in the first combo. This is literally all identical to the first combo sequence. I could have probably explained this to you verbally, but seeing it be done quickly on screen means there is less potential for a disconnect in understanding between me and you. Now, from here we are actually going to be able to make a 4 material Saryuja because we don't have to do certain things in different ways. Uh, because of the way we're playing the deck in this combo iteration. So, we're going to link away with Romulus, we're going to link away with Coos, and we're going to link away with this Phalanx, and we're going to link away with the token into a 4 material Saryuja over here, which gets to draw 4 cards and put 1 back. So we end up at an extra card in hand. doesn't matter what it is. I mean, you could put it into the combo, probably, but it doesn't matter what it is here. Now, we're going to link away the Coos into our Guard Dragon LP again, and then we're going to use LP to summon a different card from our deck, this time Dragoonie Armor Leviton. So this is brick, additional brick to the deck number one, uh, Leviton. Uh, it being a level eight is pretty valuable for what we're trying to do, and the ability for it to equip a tuner here on summon uh, is also just as much a good plus one as the Tempest was. Uh, but so now from here, we're going to be using the Leviton Equipping the Phalanx from Grave, the Phalanx can get summoned, and then from here we're able to link the Phalanx away into Guard Dragon Pisty. So, Pisty pointing this way. Now from here, we're going to overlay the Barca and the uh, Leviton that are out for our Titanic Galaxy over here. And then we are going to use the Saryuja effect to special summon from hand. We're going to special summon our Darkness Metal from hand. And then Darkness Metal here is going to special summon back our Gaederg from Grave. Now the placement is a little different, although you could make it resemble the ending board's pl original placement that I showed you from the last one. You just have to like do things in a slightly different placement. Uh, but like the main thing is you need to be able to have Pisty pointing this way, so LP has to be summoned here. Like that's the number one rule that you need. It doesn't matter what your ending board like it looks like in terms of its arrangement, because it's going to be the same thing each way. But so. We summoned Red Med, we summoned the, uh, the uh, Gaederg, but Gaederg has not used its effect yet, and nor are we going to, because we need to clear our Guard Dragons first. So, what we are going to do is we are going to link away the LP, we are going to link away the Saryuja, and we are going to link away the used Red Med into Triple Burst Dragon on top of our Pisty. Now from here, we are going to use our Pisty to revive our Red Med. Now, our Gaederg and our Red Med are not used here. Uh, Red Med hasn't used its effect, Gaederg hasn't used its effect from his original revive. But so, Pisty summons that there, and then we're going to link the Triple Burst and the Pisty away into our second Hieratic Seal of Heavenly Spheres. And now from here is where we finish out the combo sequence. So use the Gaederg to add a copy of Miss Valley Baby Rock from deck to hand and discard it, and then it gets special summoned. And then from here, you're going to synchro these two into our Borload Savage Dragon. And Borlode Savage Dragon is going to equip 
the Saryuja that we linked away with. So it gets four counters. So we're going to use the Red Med to revive the Gaederg again, and then we're going to use Gaederg to add another copy of Mist Valley Baby Rock from deck to hand and discard it, and then special summon it. So the second copy of Baby Rock is the second additional brick that the main deck requires for this combo to be performed, but it takes three less extra deck slots. So you end up on this, you still have the ability to tribute your Hieratic Seal and summon your Goliath in an open zone. It's still protected by the Titanic Galaxy. The Titanic Galaxy is at 33 because it was summoned under Saryuja, so it's even bigger to get like through. And then you have, uh, you just have the board. <laughs> the board's set up like this, and it didn't require these additional three cards in our extra deck. So like these could be swapped out for a different card. And so that is ultimately painless Dragoonity combos. Dragoonity combos without aggro pain. Uh, three card combos to always get to three negates plus a spheres bounce. That spheres bounce can summon either Aether from your deck or you can summon Goliath so that your opponent can now not summon from the extra deck. And ultimately, I don't see anything, you know, wrong with this. I don't see anything like they could be improved upon with this within the confines of what Sinidus makes us have to do. Because I had some other combos that were going Appaloosa for three, Appaloosa for four, plus uh, Savage, Crystal Wing, and Titanic Galaxy, but those were three card combos that required Ducks to be your normal summon, and they required a lot more investment, and it was a lot less consistent. Sinidus is just a more consistent card in general than Ducks, because it itself is a built-in starter, whereas Ducks requires Dragon Ravine or other starters to be utilized. So within the confines of what Sinidus allows us to do, uh, only summoning Dragons from our extra deck, this is about the best you can get, and this is identical to what we were doing last format with all of our three card combos using Agrapan. It just requires you to play more cards in your main deck to make it possible, and or more cards in your extra deck to make it possible, depending on which combo you want to take from this video. But anyway, I have been trying to make this as quick as possible. I'm sorry that I rambled on probably a bit too much. I will end the video here. So if you like this video, give it a like, comment down below, let me know what you think, subscribe if you're new here. So share this video around if you know people that want to see this sort of stuff. I can't personally promote in good faith people playing Dragoonities because I don't think this deck is good at all. It's just really fun to combo with because this deck was, these cards were designed <laughs> like almost 10 years ago and yet they're still capable of doing shit like this. So like it's fantastic. Uh, it's one of my favorite decks to theory with but one of my least favorite to play. But anyway, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Twitch link in the description. Discord link in the description. Use those to the best of your abilities of whatever you want to use them for. I'm streaming later today if you see this video when it goes up. All that sort of stuff. But I bid you adieu. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time as usual, guys. And take care. I will see you in the next video.